name is Peter Moriarty and today I'd like to answer the question of why does my computer get slower over time? This is a really interesting one and everyone's experienced this. The day you buy a new computer, it is zippy, it's so fast and it works so well. However, over time, over three months, six months, a year, two years, three years, all of a sudden it starts getting progressively slower and slower and slower. This is really interesting because you would think that a computer just kind of runs fine. Why does it get slower? It's a machine. It shouldn't slow down. There are a couple of interesting factors which make this so. Number one, as you start adding applications over time, bit by bit, your computer has to deal with more and more and more tasks to do. You might not notice it, but when you start adding extra web browsers, extra software, maybe some accounting software, some word processing packages, that PDF reader and writer, or maybe you know a design application that you're using for your business, bit by bit, there's more and more applications that start running in the background. You can have a look at these applications by hovering uh, the bottom right hand corner um, near the clock if you're on a Windows PC uh, or if you're on a Mac in the top right hand corner. And you can start to see what applications are actually running in the background that might be taking up system resources. The second reason why this can happen is actually a far more interesting one. And that is that over time, little bits of dust will actually accumulate on the inside of your computer. Now, if you're in an environment where there's carpet or it just happens to be a dusty environment, your computer will actually suck in air to keep itself cool. And what it will also suck in is the dust in your environment too. Now, that dust actually accumulates in something called a heat sink, which is like a radiator for your computer. And if you've ever seen a car that's got a radiator that's full of dust and full of dirt, that will probably start to overheat. Your computer works in the same way. The more dust that gets stuck in the heat sink inside your computer, the slower and the less efficient it will be. And over time, as more dust builds up, it can really slow down the computer. Now, the only way to have this cleaned is professionally. You can't just open up the computer and put a vacuum to it because uh, vacuumed air will actually, unfortunately, cause electromagnetic waves which can damage your computer. So definitely, definitely don't open your computer and vacuum it. The safest way to actually clean out that dust out of the heat sink is with a can of compressed air or with an air compressor. So if you can't find these uh, from, a, a, from a professional, you can buy cans of compressed air at your local hardware store and that's a safe way of cleaning out the dust from your computer without damaging components. The third thing that can cause your computer to start to run slowly is if you may have viruses or trojans in the background that you're not sure about. The best way to stay protected from those is to have a really good antivirus software program which will make sure that your computer is protected from viruses that are maybe opened in your email or that you've picked up from the computer network that you're on and also make sure that you're protected from any uh, attacks from, from other computers or, or anyone trying to hack into your machine. Good virus protection will not only clean your computer regularly, but it will also download updates of the latest virus definitions from the software provider, which will make sure that your computer is stayed protected with the latest update. So you should always keep your antivirus software up to date when it asks for new updates to be downloaded.